Good day, everybody. Welcome back. I've been thinking about the deep things, the things that are really deep inside of you that you'd really like to express. Maybe they're frustrating things, things that nobody else needs to know about, but you have a desire to get those things out on paper and deal with them. Can you do that? And can you use a typewriter to do that? Let's talk about that today, huh? The deep things. Stay tuned. Oftentimes, as typewriter aficionados, we like to share our typings with other people. They could be blog articles, either your own blog or something like one typed page. Or you might like to be a voracious letter writer and you're writing letters to people all around the country and around the world. Those are wonderful things. Or maybe you're sharing scans of your typewritten pieces on some typewriter Facebook group. However you like to do it, those are kind of the public expressions of our typewriter creativity. But there may be other things that you want to write that you don't want to share with everybody. And you might think of it as maybe journal writings or even uh, something a little more intimate than a journal, like a diary. You know, traditionally we think of diaries as some kind of a book with some kind of a lock and a hasp. And, you know, typically a teenager or something would start a diary and they didn't want any of their friends or relatives or parents to know what they were writing. Well, a lot of us adults go through the same phase. We find that there are things we really need to kind of work out for ourselves and the best way to do that is to write. We often find as typewriter aficionados that of course typewriters enable that writing process. So trying to think of a good term for this and I originally called it brain dumps. Just kind of whatever is really on your mind, whatever is bothering you, just dump it out on paper. But we need a better phrase. And then I thought about the idea of the soul train. It's like there's a train of thought coming out of your soul and you're dumping it right on paper. The idea is to be able to write out our deepest cares, concerns, frustrations, or, on the other hand, our finest thoughts. Maybe poetic, creative, really wonderful thoughts, but deep things. I really look upon this like a mirror to the soul, right? We want whatever's on that typewritten page to reflect like a mirror what the content is in your heart, right? And so that means total honesty, Honesty to the machine, to the typewriter, no inhibitions, being able to completely, freely type the deepest part of your heart onto paper. And also, that means total privacy. The machine, the typing machine, gives you the privilege of total privacy because of the intrinsic private nature of typewriters, right? So you can trust it with your deepest thoughts. Well, of course, you don't need a typewriter to do this kind of intimate private writing. You could just use your favorite notebook or writing paper and your favorite pen or pencil. But I think there's something interesting about writing to a typewriter because there's one step of remove from the personality of yourself as expressed through your handwriting. Oftentimes, I find myself writing in a notebook or whatever, I see my personality expressed in the handwriting itself. It, it represents who I am, my chicken scratch poor handwriting. It, it, it relates to me. But if you take a typewriter, you can't immediately tell who typed the page just by reading it. The personality of the typewriter comes through in the actual physical imprint on paper, the quality of the impression and the typeface style, etc. But what it does express is one step removed from you, your words through this interface of a typewriting machine. And when you read that page back that's been typed, it's not like you're seeing yourself reflected in the handwriting, you see this more neutral script. It's someone else's script. It's the script of a typing machine, but it's your words there. And I think there's a power to that that gives us the ability to remove the words from ourself more. Uh, we can stand back and read them more objectively later on. And I think that helps the process of deep diving 
getting that stuff deep out from within us onto paper. So what do you need to be able to use a typewriter for this kind of intimate, deep, soul train kind of writing? Well, one of the things you need is a convenient setup. You need the machine to be already in a place where you can write with it, and preferably a place of privacy, but you need it to be immediately usable because sometimes the deep expressions you want to put down on paper are immediate and you don't have time to go in the closet or crawl under the bed or go out to the garage and dig out that typewriter and get it out of its case and look for a place to set it up. No, you kind of want to have a set up writing station. The second thing is privacy. Because of the nature of what you're writing, you want no one to look over your shoulder or to read your thoughts later. So you have to figure out a way to use your typewriter in privacy, taking advantage of the intrinsic privacy of typewriters, right? You might find a getaway typing destination might be more favorable to your situation than trying to find a permanent workstation around the house, depending on your domestic situation. If you can't make that secure writing spot at home, make a portable version of it. So get a bag together with all your favorite writing papers, your correction tape, all the stuff you normally use for using a typewriter, go somewhere else. It could be a cafe, coffee shop, a park, at a park table. Have a way to just grab and go the typewriter and the typing kit at moment's notice when you really feel like you gotta get something down on paper right now. The other key thing, I think, is comfort. You need a machine that you enjoy using. You want minimal obstructions to the creative process. You don't want the machine to get in the way of the mirror to the soul. You don't want that mirror to be clouded and, and scratched and barely visible. The machine has to get out of the way, so find a comfortable, well fitting machine to your liking, your favorite machine, and hopefully it's portable enough that you can take it out with you if that's what you need to do. So what is it that you're going to be writing here if you have that deep need to express something on paper? It could be frustrations and things in your life that you deal with on a daily basis but you don't really want anybody else to know about or at least you don't want to talk about it at this point with anybody else. You want to talk to the paper or talk to the typewriter. Let it be your counselor. At least a, a, an ear, so to speak, that will hear you. There's also the idea that sometimes the best response to those inner feelings of turmoil and dissatisfaction is not only to vent, but to create. Sometimes creativity is the best way to vent. Channel your angst uh, into a screed or an essay or a narrative or write a short piece with characters that you can engage with that have the same issues that you have and work those issues out through the life of your characters that you're writing. Uh, have them explore the process that you're going through. Live vicariously through the words that you put on paper. That is one great way to use your writing talent, your creativity, as a way to deal with inner turmoil. Another element I think important is writing to the future. Direct the meat of your concern to some future reader, either real or imagined, as if some future relative or historian were going to be reading the work. Give yourself a little bit of objectivity away from the immediacy of your situation and kind of write it to the future. And then I think another point that's equally important is Write to yourself. Give yourself permission to write to both your past and your future selves as if your thoughts could somehow transcend time and space. Write to your past self and forgive yourself. Write to your future self and give your future self wisdom that you need to know then that you've learned now. But writing to yourself is a powerful thing. These are just a few elements of the way you can 
channel your creative energy through the medium of the machine that always is ready to hear you in privacy. Your secret confessor, your typewriter, a private way of opening up yourself, delivering the contents of your heart onto paper as a way to find solace, comfort, and some maybe solutions to things because that's what we all need is someone to bend an ear to us and sometimes the best listener is our typewriter. This is Joe Van Cleef. Have yourselves a great day and stay creative. Bye-bye for now.